ordinary home video games can't match the laser sharp visual effects of Vectrek. 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 Well, here's something really cool. Chris over a Binary Star software has come up with a modification to add a light gun to the Vectrex. Using a simple Sega light phaser from the Sega Master System, you can make a really easy adapter cable to adapt this light gun to be used on the Vectrex. It actually works really well. Now it all depends on how bright you have the Vectrex set to and the ambient light in the room can affect the accuracy of the gun. But I really didn't have a problem using the gun with the game Ghostbusters that Chris has been working on to go with this light gun modification. Chris is working on a bunch of other games as well that's going to utilize the light gun like Skeet Shoot and Super Simon and some others. Now if you'd like to hear an interview with Chris, uh, you can listen to it on episode number 8 of Vetrix Radio Podcast. Let's try a little bit of the gameplay with this light phaser now that I've got it complete. If you'd like to make your own adapter to adapt a Sega light phaser to your Vetrix, head over to Binary Star Software and click on the light gun link. Chris has put instructions step by step on how to construct your own adapter. Awesome. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the Vetrix game system, check out our podcast, Vetrix Radio, on iTunes and Stitcher. You can also find us on Facebook as Vetrix Radio. You can also uh, check out our blog page at vetrixradio.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.